Still bummed out over Twitter giving the middle finger to Instagram? Well, don't jump off that picturesque monochromatic cliff just yet, because Pinterest is here to pick up the slack. Yesterday, Pinterest quietly added support for Twitter cards, the same thing Instagram stopped supporting to let you view Instagram photos inside your Twitter feed. Coincidence? Actually, yes. See, Pinterest began limited testing of Twitter cards last week, before the whole Instagram kerfuffle. Now, your shared pins will be viewable on Twitter without having to go to Pinterest.com or the Pinterest app. So instead of boring your friends with Instagram shots of your breakfast, now you can bore your friends with pictures of other people's breakfast. But now they're made out of yarn. Because that's what people use Pinterest for, right? This move should further boost Pinterest's presence on Twitter, just like Instagram did, allowing the uninitiated a peek into the mysterious pin boards of the people they follow. And in turn, those people might also become addicted pinners. Not that Pinterest needs the help, mind you. In May, they raised 100 million bucks in VC cash, scoring a $1.5 billion valuation in the process. And now it's currently the sixth most used social network in the world. But not everything is sunshine and kittens over at Pinterest, no, because last week the site began deleting massive amounts of spammers and fake profiles in an effort to keep the social network's lily white appearance. Pinterest said 99% of users would only see a drop of fewer than 10 followers. However, top Pinterest users with huge followings would see larger declines. And boy did they ever, by about 20%. Thanks to phony baloney accounts, top users saw one day declines of 1 to 2 million people. But the move was for the best, and finally put a dent into Pinterest's spam problem. Now, if only Instagram could follow suit. So, what are you looking forward to depending on Twitter? Let us know in the comments below, and you could win a Tech Feed t-shirt, just like Mr. SD11, who, when asked if he would use Twitter, Instagram, both, or neither, replied with, BOTH! I WANT THEM BACK TOGETHER! It was in all caps, that's why I was shouting. Congrats, Mr. SD11, and don't forget to hang out with Annie, myself, and the rest of your Tech Feed favorites on Google Plus this afternoon at 3 p.m. Pacific time. More details and the link are in the notes below. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying I've never used Pinterest.